Holy cow, you guys popped on early. So it look, I got to catch up back up on the messages. Hang on just a second. Wow. everybody! Hi, Gail. Everybody got there. A lot of people got their fabrics. Not everybody, but a lot did. Um, hi, Deb. Hi, Robin. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's there. Um, I'm reading through the comments. Sorry. Um, okay. I think I'm getting caught, caught up. Um, there was somebody who said first time catching the live. I missed that. Who was it? Um, oh, Cindy, aren't the fabrics gorgeous? Holy cow. They are just just beautiful. I don't speak Spanish. Um, can somebody tell me what Anna's comment is? Because I can't speak Spanish. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Robert. Vicki, you'll be getting here soon. Hi, Pat from Alaska. Kathy's quilts. Uh, I know you haven't seen it behind the one behind me. Gail made this quilt for me. This is one that I designed for PNB Fabrics. I'll move out of the way so you can see the whole thing. I wanted to put it up because I wanted something black, bright in the background. Whoa, I just lost you guys. Come on back. Okay, there I go. Um, yeah, this is by PNB Fabrics, and um, Michelle Palmer is the fabric designer. Um great day it's better than a good one it's a great one hi rebecca welcome guys this is rebecca's first time here oh thank you kathy that is um michelle's palmer's quilt well it's my quilt but it's michelle's fabric okay here we go guys I've got, that's what I thought, Nora. I thought it was really, really nice, bright fabric. And it's cloudy and overcast today. And I just thought, I need something bright behind me. Okay, we got a couple things we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is go through our notebooks. And then we're going to go through the fabric. So that you guys can get your fabrics matched up with the um, color cards. Because it's really important because as we go through the pattern, there is no place in the pattern that refer to be the easiest way to do it. Okay. Um, okay, Teresa doesn't have hers yet, but she should have it soon. Hi, Heather. Oh, wow. Guys, Valerie Stevens is actually Heather Miller. She's, this is her first time on the live too. Oh, uh, Suzanne, the leaves are almost at their peak here. We're getting really, really close here. But they're beautiful. Hi, Bernadette from Dublin. It's nice of you to be here. Okay. This is what should have been in your package, okay? This is the um, sheet protector that has all of the stuff on, in here that you need for your first month. So it starts out with a letter to everybody. And then the next thing, if I can get this out, is the schedule of what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. The, and I did put a little note there of different um, notions that will come in handy and social hashtags. So if you post on Instagram, or any other place, try to use those hashtags because that will help. And then this is the biggie that we need to go through. This is your color card where we're going to match up our fabrics to these numbers so that when you go to make your quilt, you can ma match them right up without any issues at all. My sister Sue is right over there. She's cutting up a kit for me. You're making mistakes. Oh, that's okay. Do you have usable interfacing? Yes. Uh, please. That's how I go. Okay. Yeah, I have interfacing. So that's what's important, guys. Oh, good. 
Robin, I take it you got your kit then, correct? So this is your little package that you should have gotten in there. And everything is in there. It is on a um, better grade paper because I don't want it to be flimsy and you really, really need to hang on to it. Brenda said hi. Sue said hi. Vicki said hi. Everybody oh, hi, said, guys. Yep. So Mary says hi, Sister Sue. Hi, Mary. <laughs> so there's all that. I put them in order. I've already, here she comes. She's going to come say hi I'll to us. Bomb you. Here she comes. Where am I? There he is. Oh, geez, I'm always like, how's my hair look? I am too. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. Fusibles all the way. Yep. There's a couple of them there. Okay. So, um, oh, perfect, Robin. Okay. Everybody's saying hi. There she goes. She's photobombing you back. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go through the fabrics one by one. I also did a video of what we're going through right now so that you can go back and refer to it. There are a couple of fabrics that it gets really tough to tell them apart. So it's important that you're careful with putting it all together. Okay. So we're going to start with number one. Okay. This is your number one fabric. What this is, is it's an off-white background. It's got light green and dark green vines through it. Okay. That is fabric number one. Let me get it folded back up again. Now, I took Wonder Clips and I used my Wonder Clips to clip it to the fabric. As I go to cut it, what you're going to see me do is you're going to see me cut that fabric, but how you'll see me do it is I will remove my label, I will cut it, I will put my label back on it because the farther we get into it, the harder it's going to be to be able to um, distinguish which, which fabric is which, okay? So that's fabric number one. All right, number two. Number two is one of those fabrics that's kind of tough to tell apart. All right, so this is number two fabric. And I'm going to show you the fabric that it's close to so that you can really distinguish and determine the difference between them. So here we go. This is the fabric that's extremely similar. Let me show you what's different about it because this is important on this one. Okay, see how nice and dark pink this background color is? And then this lighter peachy pink, coral pink color on the leaf, the flowers of the, of, on the flowers themselves. Number 20, and we'll go over 20 again, is the exact same fabric what except for the colors are switched so your background is that light pinky pe pinky peach and the flowers are the darker pink okay so there's that one the next one i gotta get my numbers right that's number 20 we'll come back to that one in a few minutes so this one is number two, and it's the darker background. The fabric is stunning in person. It is just gorgeous. So let me get this folded up so I can keep it all together. All right, so that is number two, darker pink background. Get my wonder clip, get it clipped back up, set it over there in a pile. Okay, number three is easier to tell. Number three is, it's like a stripe, and it's got almost a dark purple little stripe in it. Can you see that? That's number three. All right, let me open it up so that you can see more of the fabric. 
there's more of the fabric. Okay. Make sure you got it. So that one is number three. What we got family walking in the door. How are you? Good you. I'm good. All right. Let's go on to number four. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Okay. Um. Here is fabric number four. And I'm going to try to get it really close so that you can see it. All right. This is a darker pink and it has little like hash marks or stripes on it and little dots too. Okay. This is number four. Number four. Four, you can completely set aside because number four is actually your binding fabric, okay? Hi, Loretta. So there is your number four, okay? I'm just going to stand up because it's easier, so I'll cut off my head. There. Now I won't cut off my head. Number five and number six, according to the papers, are a little tough to tell apart. Here, I'll show you the papers first. Here are the papers. We've got five and six. If you set them right together, you can kind of tell that there's a difference. Number five is this glorious fabric with the pink background. Whoops. Okay. Uh-oh, you had three and four switched. Okay, that happens. That's why we've got to go through them. I, yeah, there was nothing that I could have done differently. I tried to figure it out, but... Okay, so this is number five, and it has the pink background. All right. Now, number six is the exact same fabric, but this one has the white background. All right, look at that beautiful fabric. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. All right, and let me keep going. All right, so we're, the, we're up to number seven. Number seven, Donna, yes, the number tags are on the third page of the papers that are in your kit. So you will get those, okay? This is number seven. This is a deep burgundy, and it has oval dots on it, and it is very, very, very pretty. All right, so that's number seven. All right, let me put the tag on that one. All right, number eight is another fabric that you're going to be able to, number six for the backing, that would be pretty. Number eight is your border fabric. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? All right. You can label this one number eight and send it, set it aside, okay? Because we aren't going to need number eight for a long time because that is our border, okay? Mary, I uploaded a video. It will go live at 315 today that does the exact same thing so that you can refer back to it, okay? So take number eight and set that aside with number four, which is your binding. All right. Number nine. Number nine is the same as five and six, but it has a blue background. Um, so that is number nine. To answer questions that I'm getting at the same time, 
pre-washing, if you pre-wash, pre-wash. If you don't pre-wash, don't pre-wash. Um, it's a mode of fabric, so it usually, you know, we very rarely have troubles with them. But if you're concerned about the deep, dark burgundies, go ahead and pre-wash them. Put some color catchers in there with it, okay? All right. So that's number nine. And then there was another question. Vicki, I tried to have more fabric in the shop. It is completely sold out. I can't get it. Um, I went online a week ago Friday and tried to get more of it, and I can't. It's gone. There's, there's nothing left at the warehouse. So if you hadn't ordered it ahead of time, you're not getting it. So kudos to those who signed up for this right away because they were able to get it. You can check quilt shops. Um, some place might have it. Check online. Other places may have it, but I no longer do. I can't get it. Yep. All right, number 10. Number 10, the picture kind of looks like it's um, a yellow background, and it's not, okay? It is definitely the green, and here is this one. Hang on just a second. Let me... They, they had the fleece and the interface and the hair. <laughs> <laughs> So there's the green. My sister Sue is cutting. Ah, bring a picture of the of the bag over. My sister Sue is in here pre-cutting a tote for me to make for you guys, and she she got interfaced. Don't <laughs> tell them what you did. <laughs> so there it is. It's just as cute, and it's a cat, so it has everything. If if I'd read the fine print more than once, everything which includes the fusible fleece and the interfacing. But I went to Margaret's bolts and found it, and then after I got it all cut, then I saw it was in the kit. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've already got it cut for another kit. Oh, oh well. well. You know? So that was your green fabric, which is number 10. Okay? Um, do have oops fabrics. Um... Brenda, not really. You should be okay with what is in the Painted Meadow by Robin Pickens. The name of the quilt is Springtime Sampler. Okay? All right. So number 11. Number 11 is one of our big prints again. And this one has the blue background and it's very, very pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? So that is your number 11 fabric. All right. Don't forget, when you pull it out to show everybody how beautiful the fabric is, fold it back up, put your tag back on. Because you need those tags. I can't tell you that enough times, guys. We're going to get confused if we don't have our tags. All right, time to move on to a paisley. Here we go. Number 12 is a paisley with a pink background. Okay, so there is your number 12. There's a couple more paisleys, and I just think that they're gorgeous. They're, uh, they're more of an open paisley than what you see a lot of times. Usually paisleys are really, really densely printed, but this one isn't. It's kind of got a, more of an open look. At least that's what I think. Our next fabric, again, is a paisley, but this time it's a blue one. Here we go. You ready? Look at this. Now on this fabric, if you look around the paisley, let's see if I can do this and still see it. If you kind of look around the paisley prints, it kind of almost looks gold, and it is just beautiful. It is the green, but it just sometimes, to me, it looks a little gold, and it's gorgeous. Oh, I'm sorry, Vanessa. The name of the fabric line is Painted Meadow. Okay. It's by Robin Pickens for Moto. 
and that is what it is. Thank you, Krusty. Okay, so the blue, mm, get my tongue back. The blue paisley is your number 13, almost halfway through. Okay, your number 14 to me is a stripe or dash lines, and it is green, all different shades of green with a blue stripe in it. Okay, so that one is your number 14. Now don't forget to ask me about the pattern at the end, okay? Please don't forget to ask me about that. Say, Margaret, tell us about the pattern. Your number 15. Your number 15 and your number 22 are extremely similar. Let me hold them up for you. Number 15, right here, has a white vine in it. Number 22 has just all pinks, a lighter pink and a darker pink. And that pink is almost like a pinky coral type color. But number 15 is the pink vine with the white in it. Okay. Very, very important because these two are extremely similar and you need to make sure that you've got these two white, right. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, I don't blame you, Vicki. I'd want a king size quilt too. Remember though, this makes a quilt that is... Well, it's darn close to it's, king size. It's really close to a king size. You're right. It is. It's... Because uh, what? It's 100 by... It's 80-something 80, 80 by 102. Yeah. So it's really, really close to a, um, a king size quilt. All right. I'm going to put 22 back in order. Do you remember our green stripe? We also, oh, I don't blame you, Kim. You do have to be careful. You've got to separate them. So this is number 16, and this is a burgundy with a lighter pink stripe in it, a darker pink stripe in it, and then almost a gray purple, which is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay. This black this color, I think, made the blocks pop more than any other one. Brenda, I don't have backing fabric. I, um, I had one bolt, and um, tell you what I'll do. Um, I will start looking to see who has it, and I will let you guys know who does. Yeah. Okay, because I might be able to find somebody that's got it. All right. So that is your number 16. Oh. Number 17, we're going to go back to our vines again. No, all of, well, 17, I don't know, no, 20 some of the, 22 of the 27 fabrics are cut the same size. Five are cut larger. Okay? So there's some that are a few pieces bigger. This is a blue vine with green and white, and this one is your number 17. Okay? Vicki, yes, to answer your question on another border would work. Yep. So number 18. Number 18 is another vine, but this one has the green background. Here we go with the green one. How's everybody doing keeping up with your colors and your fabrics? Here we go. This is a green, and it's got a white and a darker green vine in it. All right. Very, very pretty. That's your number 18, right? 
Number 19 is going to take you back into your paisleys. And this is a green paisley. And I'm going to try to bring it really close because I want you to try to see the little white dots. Can you see those little white dots in the background? Aren't they adorable? Very, very, very pretty. Okay. So the green paisley is your number 19. We're almost there. Seven more to go. Number 20. Remember, number 20 is the sister fabric to, I can't remember what number it was, but this is the large flower with the lighter pink background. Okay. No test at the end, Vicki, I promise. <laughs> so that is your number 20. It's the big flowered print with the lighter of the two pink backgrounds. Okay. Hang on just a second. Number 21. Number 21 is one of my favorites. Vicki, yes, the blue would be pretty for a border around the blocks. This is number 21. This is used as your cornerstones, and I think maybe in a couple other blocks. I think. I know. It does feel like we're playing bingo. <laughs> it would make a beautiful wide border. Yes, I agree. So the background, the big prints, these, there's a light background one, a white background one. That's our border. There's a darker pink background one. And then there's a light pink background one. And then I believe there's also a navy background one. Except for my fabrics are over there. And I, yes, there's also a dark blue. It's not navy, but a dark blue. Okay. So that's number 20. And we've done 21. Number 22, remember when I showed you number 15? Number 22 is the sister. But what this one is, is this one is the all pink. So it's got a lighter pink background and then a darker pink vine. All right. The next one is 23. This is the Paisley again, but this is the one with light pink background. It is very, let me open it up for you. And then I'm going to grab the white background because number 25, see the difference? Number 25 has the white background. Number 23 has the pink background. Okay. There's only one border. That's it, Vicki, just one border. All right, so that was number 23, the paisley with the lighter pink background. Number 24 is the blue with the ovals. Let me bring this one in close so that you could see it. Very, very pretty. So blue ovals, and that one is number 24. Three more guys and then we're done. Then we can start asking questions about other things. All right? Number 25, we already did. This is the white background of the Paisley. I like 23 too. I agree, Vicki. I like this one though too a lot. So this one's number 25. All right. So from now on, we're going to refer to numbers, and then everybody else is going to say, what are those people talking about? They have no clue. Number 26 is another one of the stripes. 
This has got a blue background, has different shades of green, a gray blue, and then pinks. Okay, that's number 26. In number 27 is like a corally pink, I think is how I would describe it. And it has your little hash marks in it again. So that is your number 27. Okay, so that takes us through all of the fabrics that we're going to use. So that's all of them. Okay. Where's my chair? Yeah, don't sit. In. Yeah, don't just sit and fall on my hind end. <laughs> ah. Almost looks like Morse code. Is that yeah. what you're thinking? Yeah, it does sort of. Does it? I think so. Her hashtags is a good description. Yeah. Yep. So that's all of those. Now, what I'm going to do, because I had so many people asking me for fabric and for, um, for fabric and for the pattern because they want to join it, join the quilting or the sewing, I'm going to have the pattern available at the end of the month, every month for the six months. So what you can do is at the end of this month, go out to my website um, does number four look like number 27? Yes. Number four yes. and 27 look very, very similar. Here They're you go. the same pattern, but just one's darker. <laughs> yep, just darker. Same fabrics, just darker. Four and 27. But number four is the darker of the two, and that's your binding. Yes, Brenda, there is a video. It's going to be live at 3.15 today. I've already done it, and it's all ready for you guys, but I wanted to go through it with you before I made it live, just in case there was any kind of a confusion. So at the end of the month, every month at the end of the month, the pattern will be available on my website so that you can go out and get the pattern if you don't, if you weren't able to get the fabric through me and you want to do it, all right? It'll be available as a download. Should block 11 fabric one be fabric six? Let me look. Block one, fabric one, be fabric six. Fabric one, cut five squares. No, no. Fabric number six is, excuse this me. This one with the white background with the bumblebees. Yeah, fabric number six is this one, the bumblebee one. So no, it should not be. Block, the second block 11, Block 11 is number six, which is this. Block one, so you've got your picture on the, on the back. Block one is the green number one fabric. Block number 11, which is this one, is the fabric number six. Yes, Donna, the, fab, or the video is on YouTube. And the video to put the blocks together will start on Tuesday. Okay? So that you'll be able to get it. Nope, there's not a live at 315, Vi Vicki. Sorry, I used the wrong term. It's just a video is going up so that you've got something to refer right back to. So, Kim, block 11 is the blue, pink, in the white background, little flowers and bumblebees. Sue's got it. There you go. Okay. There's two of the old maids puzzle blocks that are in the first month. One of them is the pink in the green background. 
white and green background. The second one is pink and blue with a white background. Yes, Mary, all the patterns are included. Yes, the patterns get sent every single month, okay? So the patterns get sent to you guys on the 20th. The schedule of when everything is being sent is in this packet, okay? Watch that tomorrow. Okay. All right, so that's that stuff. Don't forget, if you want to sew along with us, but you weren't able to get the fabric from me, and you, or you want to sew it out of your own stash, you can get the pattern at the end of the month. Every month, it'll be there for six months, and it's going to be $5 a month. There will be four blocks every single month. So this month, your blocks are 11, 1, 7, and... 10. So directions for block number 11 should have first two cuts out of fabric number 6, right? Um, block 11 from, oh, I see what you're getting at. Yep, there is a mistake, guys. Yep, that's not fabric 1, it's fabric 6. I will send you an update on that. Thank you so Good catch. much. Good, Good catch. Good catch. Whoever did it. That's excellent. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. Both block 111 say fabric 1, but block 11 should be fabric 6. Correct, Valerie. Yep. Absolutely correct. Thank you for catching that. Perfection. Thank you. I will send you guys all a note. Yes, Rolene, that is correct. It's $5 each month for all four patterns. Yep. Okay. So block 11, it is fabrics 6, 22, and 13. And I will correct everything. Both of those are 6. Hmm? Both of those are yep. six. Yeah. Double check me, but I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, both are. Yes, you are a great proofer. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, good. good job. Okay. Perfect. All right. So are we good with everything? Check your e I'll, I will be emailing out a new one today so that you guys have it corrected. You can get rid of your other one and and have just the um, this is the cost five dollars for those that didn't buy the block excuse me yes crusty the five dollar cost is for those who did not purchase the block of the month okay the kit the first blocks Donna are one eleven seven and ten Yeah, that's okay, Rebecca. It's easier if I send this out. And then everybody can just throw away their block 11 first page and print out the new one and put it right with their kits, okay? Um, Let's see, Robin. Gail's quilt is made exactly like ours will be, correct? Yes, that is correct. So you can zoom in on her quilt to get the fabric if there's any confusion. Yes. Okay. So that's what's going on with that. Now I understand where the confusion came from. No, Mary, you can post your blocks every place and you can put the hashtags every place. That's fine. Yep. Oh, Kim, I'm glad you got your magnet. Cool. Yeah, everybody got a little magnet in their kits. Well, everybody but poor Joanne Wagner, who didn't get hers. <laughs> oh, well. I guess one out of 56 isn't bad, right? Yep. Yeah. So, 
Alrighty. Okay. We're doing good. Where are we time-wise? We're doing good. Okay. Now, Robin, I believe, is filming an un unboxing of her package. So you guys can watch her unpack, unpack it and get her take on the fabrics. All right. I'm watching all over the place to see what's going on. Uh, oh, you want to make a copy of games? What's games, Mary? Oh, you love magnets? I do too. I know, poor Joanne. I felt terrible, but I have her magnet right here waiting for her. I'll just send it to her next month. I already sent her the, the patterns this morning. All right. All right, so now that I'm going to put my poor sister right on the spot here. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I was just going to say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> that I was leaving. You are. All right. Well, I was. Oh. But I guess not if you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> well, you know, I figured I don't get you here that That's often. True. That's true. Um, let's see. Good things that you didn't cut everything up already, right, Robin? Yeah. Guys, don't be overachievers. Let's go through this oh, thing yeah. slowly. The, I think that's the best way to do it. Just in case we do catch something like we got this time. Kim caught, okay? Will you post monthly cutting instruction? When will I? The first one, Kim, is going to be up on Tuesday. Okay. Yep, take this one slow, guys. Yeah, they are really, really strong magnets. I like them. They're my favorite ones. Okay. So, now that I've put my sister on the spot, we're going to find out what she's been working on lately. I was afraid she was going to ask me that. <laughs> um, I, I have been working on a, some people would call it an art quilt. I had a picture of my three granddaughters that they were, I think, seven, four, and two at the time. And... Um, they were, two of them had their bathing suits on, and the littlest one, the two-year-old, was stark naked. It was summertime, and they were walking, and somebody took a picture of them from the back. And I found a person that prints photos on fabric, and so I've been playing um, with that. And then I just had a busy September. I took a bus of 55 ladies through Massachusetts. So any of you from Massachusetts, hi, you've got great shops in Massachusetts. Um, we went to the New England Quilt Museum. Sue Garman's quilts were on display, so that was wonderful. So that took most of my September, and I don't know where October's gone. It's I'm, disappeared. <laughs> right. I'm teaching two days a week to little kids at school how to learn to sew. You'd be amazed that, you know, their mothers don't know, their fathers don't know. Some of their grandmothers know, but... Um, so I've been busy doing that. And, um, oh, I went to Ohio, too. For those of you Ohio way, yeah, I was out in Ohio, middle of September, and went to the Country Living Fair with my sister-in-law, and then we toured quilt shops. We went to Sue Spargo and then to about five or six other shops, so I'm planning another bus trip. Um, hopefully I'll take 55 out to... Um, Ohio next September. So early no, springtime. Sorry, spring. Okay. Yep. Next September, for those of you that are in the um, New York City area, Quilters Take Manhattan is going to be held at the Fashion Institute of Technology again. They did this a few years ago and then they stopped and they're bringing it back. It's an awesome event. So if anybody wanted to jump on my bus in the Watkins Glen area, I'll take you on down to New York City and it, it, that's that's just, a really cool trip because yeah. not only do you get into the Fashion Institute of Technology, you can get into the museum. Right. So whatever's on show at the museum is open. We can get in there, go around, yeah. and they always got great speakers there. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yes, they do. In fact, one of the speakers at this year is a gentleman by the name of Jack Walsh. You can Google him. He's originally from New Jersey, but then settled um, in my area, my neck of the woods, the southern part of New York. And Jack is has the largest art collection. I, I think my stats are correct. 
He has the largest art collection of anyone in the world, and he happens to collect art quilts. So his, his collection, I've seen parts of it. So um, Jack is going to be one of the speakers at Quilters Take Manhattan. So when we go in trip. September? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, That's you cool. know, for those of you that have been to New York, you know how much fun it is. For those of you that live there, um, for those of us that don't get there very often, it's just, it's fun to be able to go down through the fashion district. And I've taken quilters there before and they'll say, well, you know, they don't have a lot of quilting fabric, but oh. they, they just have everything. Everything that and you they could. are gorgeous. Yeah, you they, walk into you know. a shop that is just buttons, right? Or it zippers is, or it, trims, and it's yeah. just so cool. Yeah, it's really yeah. it's a it's a fun trip. We just go for one night, so it's kind of quick down and in, in back. But um, yeah, it's fun. So I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and I'm really looking forward to my um, Ohio trip next spring. I'm hoping to meet up with. Two have two um, speakers that will talk to my group that are Amoda designers, and then another um, young girl that just published a book with a Martingale, um, Corey Turner Goodhart. If you like embroidery and quilting, you'd you'd enjoy her her book because I, in fact, I that's one of the things I'm working on right now is a wall hanging for my daughter's family for Christmas. So. So I've had a really busy September and October. I haven't been in the sewing room a lot, but I've been really, really busy. Really Getting busy. out and about. Yeah, yeah out and about. Yeah. So so in the spring is Ohio, and then in the fall yeah. is Quilters Take Quilts. Manhattan. Yep. Okay. Yep. September 25th and 26th. So like I said, if you can get yourself to Watkins Glen, you can pop on my bus and go with us. Go with us, yeah. yeah it's Which, fun. It is fun. And the hotel that she had us at oh. last time was really it's Close. real convenient. It's convenient to FIT. We're only um, two blocks, so it's very walkable. You know, we're not far from it, and uh, yeah, it's just it's an enjoyable trip. We've always we've, we've always, always had, had a fun. good time. Yeah, yeah we I can't wait to yeah. go back. The other thing that's nice is it's it always seems to be small enough, but yet people like Alex Verona, who yeah. is from Orafil Threads. Yeah. He is normally there. Yeah. We've seen him there every single yeah. time. Mark Dunn from Moda, he is on that board. He's there often. Um, and if Mark's not there, his son is there. Yeah. yeah. So one of the Dunn men are usually right. there. Sometimes Mark actually brings some of his quilts because he has quite a right. huge collection, collection. Yeah. of quilts. Meg Cox is often there. For those of you that know Meg, if you get her newsletter, she does... Um, Quilt journalist tells all it comes mm -hmm. out once a month. She's usually there because she's on that board, I believe. Also, Mark Lipinski, for those of you that are Mark fans, um, sometimes he's there. It's it's not your typical quilt show where you no. go, don't go in and see quilt after quilt after quilt. You, it's about education, and they have very... Um, varied speakers so jack is one and i don't know who the other one or two are but so that it's different than your typical uh going to your quilt show certainly it's really be, relaxed it and is. these yeah. these owners of these companies are down on the floor yeah. talking with you walking around right. visiting with quilters they're yeah. open to all kinds of conversations and questions yeah. and all different things yeah victoria finley wolf who mm -hmm. lives right in the city she now has a, a shop there, which I'll be sure to take my group to. Um, I'm sure she'll be there. So, yeah, it's it's different than your typical uh, quilt show, but it's yeah. really it's really interesting and really educational. I Big think. time. Yeah. Adida, 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 Adida Sitar was there from Laundry Basket Quilts one, one year, yeah. and she talked about what got her into quilting, mm -hmm. and it, it just was a wonderful show. Yeah. And they do that. Um, with all the different ones. There's a session where, what is it? Talk um, to, um, what's it called? Oh, oh, shoot. Well, go on quiltalliance.org to their websites. I, it, I can't think either. What Mar I know what Margaret's referring to. What they do is they interview different quilters every year, and then that goes into their catalog of videos that you can refer back to at any time. And it's not just 
the famous out there. It's everyday quilters mm -hmm. and how they, you know, what started them in their quilting journey and why they continue to quilt. And yeah, it's, it's interesting. And again, it's very educational. It's, you can really yeah. learn, really learn a lot if you're, if you're into that. So yeah, it's a good, yeah. it's a good trip. So yeah. I always, I always have fun on my trips. Yeah, it you is know. a great one. Yeah. So next year, those two trips are planned. Those two. So yeah. if you want in on them, um, drop Sue an email at sue at osusannasquilts.com. Oh, or your website's still up? No. No, no okay. I don't have my website. So it's sue at osusannasquilts.com. Oh, or email me. I'll forward your yeah. email on to Sue so that you can get on the email list so that if you want to go, you'll at least find out about it. And Sue is trying to get some things planned for me too. So yep. hopefully as time goes on, she's going to take care of some plan planning for me. And um, we, we think it's time that we met you guys in person. So we were thinking of a retreat. Um, maybe Pennsylvania, maybe Massachusetts, maybe Ohio. But yeah, we thought it would be fun to get together for a few days. Yeah. And Sue has the experience with putting together this type of thing, whereas I just don't. So I kind of figured this is one of those times I need to hand it over to a professional. And, and I love, I love, <laughs> she loves, I love doing it. Yeah. Though, you know, I pull my hair out at times. The Massachusetts trip was, I kept saying to the ladies, if we just didn't have to eat or sleep, this would be a picnic. But it's, <laughs> it's hard to find Places to feed 55 people all yeah. at one time. So, but I enjoy doing it and I got wonderful feedback from my Massachusetts trip. So, um, I'm in for another one or two. Make sure if there's any chance you want in on them, and Gail can attest to this when the email yeah. comes out, don't ignore it. Get on the list yeah. because I have, yeah. I have, I can take a 55 passenger bus. And right now I have 44 for the Quilters Take Manhattan trip. So And that's in was, September. Right. You know, 11 months from now. So. Yeah. And yeah. there's only nine openings. So if there's any, if you are yeah. want to go, let us know yep. so we'll that she on. can get you on the list. And I'm more than willing to, you know, we, we often will stop along the way to pick somebody up. I have no problem doing that so you know if you're in the northern PA area or wherever the bus you know just check with me and say you know mm. are you coming in this direction and I'll work it out so that we can get you picked up and then you don't have to travel so far yeah mm. yeah so hopefully so, yeah. we'll be able to and somebody is asking if we're going to do a sister so off on New Year's oh, Day oh New again. Year's Day yeah, it is coming it's, to that time yeah. again, isn't it? Have it's, I won? Have I won both? Years? Yeah, you have. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we've already <laughs> figured that you're gonna yeah. win every single one of them. <laughs> well, if we did something that required accurate piecing, <laughs> then Margaret would win. But um, you know, the easy stuff, yeah, I, I, yeah. I can be quick. But yeah, um, yeah, we'll have to think about that. That would be fun again. Yeah. Um, Brenda, if you fly into New York City, if that's what oh, you're sure. gonna do. Fly into New York City and then you want to tag on with us, let us know. I've had people do that, Brenda. Yep, yep definitely. Absolutely. I will get you a ticket. The other nice thing is that Quilters Take Alliance, um, Quilters Alliance, sorry, they will often be able to get us good deals on Broadway theater tickets. Yeah. So if you get on with my group, I can get you those kinds of, um, of specials. deals along yeah. with it. Yeah. This year, I want to find out what is going to be playing in September because I missed the show yeah, last year. Yeah, they said year. I didn't go either. I'm always so tired by the time I get down there. Um, but I know that my ladies that went, they had not front row seats, but close to it. We I arranged for a limousine to come and pick them up and to pick them back up um, when the show was over. So, yeah, you can get in on those kinds of things, too. So I've had people do that before, too. Yeah. You know, and you can stay at the same hotel that we're staying at. You know, just let me know. And, um, you know, I'll make arrangements for that to happen. Yep. Make sure that you're right with us. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So... I think that'll be a lot of fun. I do, too. Yeah, yeah I'm really looking too. forward yeah. to it. And, yeah, we have no clue at this point where the retreat is going to happen for right. us. But we Sue is looking in at a place in January. In January, I'm going 
um, to stay at one place. Um, for those of you that have traveled with me before, I always like to know exactly what we're getting into. Um, I always, before I take a bus of ladies, I always go and visit the area, the hotels, the shops, and I'll do the same thing for this retreat. Yeah. I'm going to go spend a weekend, see what it's really like, and then I can then I can get a real recommendation that I feel comfortable with. Yeah. The other thing is, guys, if you see Sue and I or Sue and Jane and I or Sue and Jane, someplace out of state that you wouldn't normally run into us at a quilt show, <laughs> just kind of keep that in the back yeah. of your mind because that means that we're... We might be planning something. She's planning a trip someplace. So yeah. that's a hint, hint in case right. you may see us at... Right. Where's that yeah. place in Kentucky? <laughs> um. <laughs> Maybe a place in Missouri. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, We've got that coming up. I think Sue and I are going to be traveling from one end of the country yeah. to the next next year. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you're all interested, if you you know like to travel with a bunch of ladies that like to do the same thing you like to do, um, you know, let me know because yeah. I I do try to make it fun. Yeah. Oh, so. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off for the day so I can say goodbye to my sister. Yep, I'm headed south. So I'll home. take care. Enjoy your quilt. As Margaret said, the fabrics are beautiful. They are and, gorgeous. And I know of a couple shops, I think, that has the fabrics. So I'll give those names to Margaret, and then she can post it so that um, you can hopefully get some if you missed out on the kit. Okay. So I will. I got I to gotta email Deb. Really quick. There we go. Okay. So I will see you guys next Sunday. Next week. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.